Hi, everyone, and welcome to my recap of Asia Super Young, episode 10. Maybe they're watching the final episode somewhere. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm going to talk about this episode because it is, I don't want to say like a filler episode because it's not really, um, but it kind of covers two things. So it covers them, or three things, three things, technically. It covers them getting their rankings from the final performances. Um, the first performances, they did it at the end of the episode, they did their rankings, but because there was um, so many, they didn't do it that now. Um, so they did it at the beginning of this one, and then they also showed them getting, because of how their rankings were, that's how they could get their, um, pick their songs and groups for the third per performance, so they got that information. Um, and then it also has their like live rankings that were filmed after January 20th. They were actually filmed on Monday, which was January something, on the 22nd, um, because I'll explain it later because there's a very clear indication of what day they filmed it on, but they filmed it on the 22nd. So the, cause the 20th was the cutoff date for voting, um. Sorry, my hair is a little bit messy today. Anyway, let's go ahead and start. Um, so they announced the scores for the top one in each team because they were the only ones who didn't know their top scores. Um, all of this was not shown on the um, the aired version. This was all shown on the extended version. So if you watched the aired version, um, you didn't get this information. So I'm glad that I watched the extended version of this one. Um, and so it goes by the vocal teams. And so there was three vocal teams. So it shows that the possible scores are 158, 175, and 227. And everyone says that they think Felix is the one who's get, who got the highest score if you, of the three um, vocal people. Um, and then it turns out that Felix actually got 158, Leo got 175, and Walker got 227. Um, and Sungday was sitting next to him and Sungday was like, you? And Walker was like, no, no, no. Um, and then as he was walking up, Ellie goes, as expected from Rain's dad. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot he's Rain's dad. Um, and then it showed all of the rankings of the vocals. Um, and there are 18 of them. And so it showed based on what they vote got voted on by the people that were there in present. Um, so Walker's first, he got 227 votes. Leo got 175 votes. Felix got 158 votes. Des got 139 votes. Albert I got 132 votes. Neil got 116 votes. Zach got 106 votes. And everyone was like, oh, Zach, look at you. Because he usually ranks pretty low, like always at the bottom. Um, Sean with a W got 105 votes. Yeah, 105 votes. Um, Small Sean got 100 votes. Uh, no, Reg Big Sean. Big Sean got 100 votes. Um, Shin got 85 votes. Lucifer got 61 votes. Sungday got 51 votes. DC got 53 votes. Archie got 40 votes. Roy got 36 votes. Orenda got 30 35 votes. Paco got 15 votes. And Carl got 12 votes. So Sunday must have got 54 votes. I vote 53, but or 51, but it's 54 votes. Um, and so that's the rankings for that. And then they did the dance teams, and there were three of them. No, four of them. And so the possible scores are 139, 194, 218, and 227. Um, and everyone guesses um, Akliar got the highest score. And Ollie's like, I think it's Akliar. And then they announced that Ashley got 139, which is actually the same score that um, Ellie got as the second in his group. Um, Chen Liu got 194, Kim Dong Bin got 218, and Akliar got 227, um, which is also the same score that Walker got in the vocal unit. So then they do the dance ranking, and there are 32 of them, because um, they did include David in the ranking, even though he was not participating. Um, so Akliar got first with 227 votes. I did take screenshots of these, by the way. So there's pictures of the rankings. Um, Kim Dong-bin got 218. Chen Liu got 194. There are two number fours. It's Ellie and Ashley. They both got 139 points. Uh, Mu Ching got 127 points. 
Aiden got 111 points, Renuske got 105 points, Sky got 77 points, Albert got 71 points, Louis got 66, Elliot 65, um, Juan got 62, Service got 59, John with 53, Dale 46, Bobo 45, Jerry got 40, um, Kingsley and Hugo got the same score. They're both 19. They got 35. Um, and then 21st is Atia got 30. 22nd, Tomoki 29. Vic got 28. Ablit got 24. Dee Dee Morcash got 21. G Thursday got 18. 20, uh, Gemini got 16. Um, Ansel got 15. CI got 10. Hiromu got 8. Kusuke got Koske got four and David got zero because he wasn't there to get voted for. Um, and then the rap teams, there's only three rap teams. And so the highest scores they can get is 166, 219, and 292. Or yeah, 292. Um, everyone says that Ollie is the one who ranked the highest. And then they show that Kuhn got 166. Um, Shin Hao got 219 and Ollie got 292. He's also the highest ranking of anybody. Um, all the highest ranking stars of all of the groups. Um, and then they show the rap ranking and there's only 15 people. Um, Ollie got 292, Shin Hao got 219, Kuhn got 166, Albin got 158. One from, Ta like one, I write his in all caps. He's also my favorite one. He's 124. Um, Shin Chi got 117, Dylan got 84, Jun Lan got 74. Kenny got 48, Sky got 47, Tuna got 11, or Tuna's 11th got 41, Shiyu got 39, Gaudancha uh, got 36, Hugo got 33, and Small Sean got 26. They said this rank is not solid because it's the their like final rank for the later in the episode is based on the votes on two different platforms, um, and then the winning team ranks two um it's not just like this in-person one um because they get they also get like their bonus points for getting first and stuff um and i wrote um, like i'm sure it's hard because up to this point they haven't seen any rankings yet um because the show like the show hadn't started it said the first vote hasn't happened or has it like are they seeing fan votes or not i'm not sure um but I don't think they're seeing them yet because the next thing they say is they show like that. They say that um, Kenny had to leave the show um, due to physical limitations. They announced it in the episode and Kenny had already left the show before you could start voting. Cause I started voting like almost right away as soon as you could start voting. Now the third, the idea for the third um, performance is they're having a, like a team fight. So there's going to be 10 teams the five defenders and five attackers. Um, and the, the defenders team is, um, the idea is to keep their team in the top five. And then the attackers team is, the idea is to um, get your team up into the top five to get them up there. Um, and I think they must not have filmed, like been doing this yet, I have never watched another Chinese survival show, so I don't know if this is typical. Um, I did also, when I was just Googling, find out that it was supposed to start in September, the airing, and they had to push it back because of some scandal and then some the main host, Eric's health or something. Um, but this one, they didn't kick anybody out of the performance. And I wonder if it's because the show started airing later than they intended originally. Um, also, don't mind these broken blinds over here. Oh, over here. Over here. Don't mind these broken blinds over here. Uh, my dog had a um, freak out the other day and ripped my plastic <laughs> and broke my blinds um, on both of my windows. So, yeah, just ignore those. Um, but I can't tell if it's because they they like they were originally were going to do it that way or if that's just like how Chinese shows typically do it. Like they just don't want to. Um kick people out I'm not sure but you can't vote for anyone that's not in the top 30 um after today so you can there they get to perform next week 
um, because they've already performed, but you just can't vote for them anymore. Top five is Ollie gets to because he has the highest star value. Um, He was also the highest score for rap. And so because he has the highest star value, then the second place for rap also gets to choose. Um, So Shin Hao gets to choose. Um, And so it sounds like it was whoever got the highest score would always get to choose. And then whatever category they were in, the second highest got to choose. Um, And then the highest in vocal is Walker. He gets to choose. And then because dance had a lot more people in it than the other two did, the top two people from dance get to um, get to choose. So Akliar and Kim Dong-bin. Um, then those five people, they go to the stage and they, um, they're they the defending captains. When they walked up, Shin Hao and Dong-bin were like, oh, we wanted to be in the same group. Um, and then they say that there's going to be five songs and one song is going to have, two songs are going to have three people, two songs are going to have five people, and one song is going to have seven people um, in it. And then I play the songs. And the first song is La Song, which is, I guess, Rain Song. Um, and they play that song. And they say that it's going to have five people in it. And then they play R-B- R&B All Night, which I had to look up who it was by. And it's by DZ No and High Brothers. Um, and that is also going to have five people. And when they played it, or three people, I mean, that's going to have three people. Um, and everyone loves the song and they all comment on it. And they're all like singing along while they're playing the preview. Um, the third song is Cheetah by Jackson Wang, which I really like the song a lot. Um, Ollie dances along to the song. That's going to have three people in it. Um, I think it's June Lan. He says the hardest part about that song is that it's all in English. Um, then Good Boy Gone Bad by TXT, but the Mandarin version. Um, and there's going to be five people in that group. And then there's, uh, oh, and they're showing like the boys on stage and the boys in the audience. And Akliar has like no expression on his face. Like he's not giving anything away, like what his thoughts are. Um, and then the last one is a Cantonese song called Hair Messed Up. Um, it surprises everyone that they that that song is there um but everyone kind of dances after a second there's like a part at the beginning where it's like this weird like female voice and everyone was like what and then it kind of kicks in and they're like "Ooh, this is groovy like they kind of like it and that one's gonna have seven members um it's kind of disco-y uh des and archie are like singing hard on the song they said that the um the winner of is going to get to choose their group and their song like complete like they pick their song in their group and then the next person gets to go um right away so they're not gonna like take turns or anything like they have in the past um and then ollie says i want r&b all night with or in like a talking head he says he wants r&b all night and he wants orenda and lucifer in his group um because that would make it three and then akaliar says he also wants r&b all night and he also wants lucifer um and they said it's going to be chosen by planking. So seeing who can hold a plank the longest. Um, Ollie is like, oh, no. He's, like, super worried he's going to lose. And Akliar is, like, smiling. And everyone's like, oh, he's smiling. Um, and then all the other boys keep saying that, like, Ollie's going to lose because he's, like, a monkey. Um, and then Ollie says there's, like, four strong guys because Walker is, like, a dancer so his core is really strong and Kim Dong Bin is really strong and Akligar is a tumbler and he's like, and then um, Shin Hao is just like unnaturally strong. And there's Ollie. Kim Dong Bin takes off his jacket and puts it on the stage and like kneels on it. And everyone's like, why is he taking off his jacket? He also like took off his socks. Um, and then they start their planking and it starts a countdown from like seven and a half minutes. So to me, I was like, either they're making them go for seven and a half minutes. Like that's how long, like that's the longest they'll make them go. Or that's just like how long it lasted, which is, it's actually like how long they lasted. Um, they should have been counting up, but they counted down. Uh, and then um, Kim Dong-bin got scolded for having his butt up too high. 
and he lowered it a little bit and then they said it was still kind of high and then Xing Shi mumbles he's like he has a big butt so stop scolding him and almost two minutes in and Ollie f falls like falls on he's out first I don't think I could make it two minutes so or as long as Ollie did so great but he was like shaking the whole time um and then he kind of tries to cause trouble so he just like sits down for a while and then they are scolding um Shin Hao for his they said his knees are touching the ground um and so then Ollie kind of gets up and walks over and they're like oh here comes a troublemaker and then he walks over to check and then Shin Hao goes no it's like my pants because his pants were baggy so it looked like his knees were touching but it was really the pants and then Ollie kind of checks and it's true um And then um, Dongbin actually ends up being second out because he, put, he puts his butt up again too high. Um, and then they keep saying that it looks like Akliar is asleep because he just has his arms and he has his head down and it like, looks like he's sleeping. Um, and then Walker is out next. And then Ollie's sitting kind of in between uh, Shin Hao and Akliar. And he's like, go Shin Hao, go Akliar. Like he's kind of cheering for both of them. Um, and then the, I think it's Sean is sitting next to Sean and Tuna are sitting next to Junlan and Junlan's like do you think Shin Hao can make it and Sean was saying like Shin Shin Hao can lose his song but he's he can't lose you like he want he's gonna want to pick you um so he wants to pick first so he can pick you and then um Junlan kind of like covers his face and everyone's like they're so stuck together they're like stuck together like glue Shin Hao kind of le looks over and he says um he says, Akliar, he goes, uh, what did he say? Something about like, we should just discuss what song we want so that we don't have to um, do this anymore. And then Ollie's like, yeah, you should. He goes, Akliar really wants R&B all night. And then Shin Hao's like, I don't want that song. I don't want that song. And then Akliar's like, said something about taking the song. And Shin Hao's like, I won't take your song. And then he, um, he goes down and then Akliar goes down right after at seven and like seven and a half minutes. And then, so then Akliar gets to choose first and he goes right to R&B all night and he chooses, he picks Ellie and Lucifer. And then he said he had two other people that in mind, um, I think it was Orenda and Jerry were the next two people he was going to pick, but he really, he said he really needed Lucifer because of his vocals and his like remastering abilities. Um, and then Ollie said, Akliar, we're going to break up <laughs> or like done or something. Like he basically was saying like, we're, you backstabbed me. Like we're whatever traitors. Um, so then Shin Hao comes in and he picks Cheetah and he immediately calls Junlan and everyone's like, oh yeah, duh. And then Jun, he's like, mm, now I need to think about who I'm going to pick. Cause he hadn't thought past Junlan. Um, and then, uh, Junlan comes down and he. Um, and Junlan likes that song. And so, and Sean was like, he'll listen to you. Tell him what song to pick or what person to pick. Um, and then Junlan tells him to pick Albert because when Junlan got up to go down, he like looked up and he made eye contact with Albert and waved. And then Albert waved back. And then he walked down and he's like, he's like, can you pick Albert? Kind of like, do you dare to pick Albert? Like, do you, and then Shin Shin Hao's like, I can pick whoever. And Albert kind of like has a talking head and he doesn't say this, but it kind of like comes across like those guys are so close that I'm worried like that I'm not going to fit in. And I'm like, oh, he's worried he's going to be the third wheel. That's hilarious. So then Walker gets to choose third because he was the third person out. Um, and he chooses La Song, which I didn't even think about it until after like I watched almost this whole episode. And I was like, that's funny because Rain calls him his dad and he picked Rain's song. So that's really funny. Um, but so he gets to pick five, uh, four other people and he picks one Sky with an E, the other one and Orenda. So he picks like the Boys Planet one sky with an e and sky with an e is like he's like what and everyone's like oh his face is green and he's kind of like kind of like grumpy as he comes by and i think it's ellie he's like he didn't want it and walker's like i know i can see that um but they don't really get to refuse and then um he chooses tau's one and then orenda and then 
Ollie was like, oh, not Orenda. And he falls down and like lays down. And then Ellie says, I think Ollie wanted him. And then Akaliar says, yeah, he did. He told me. And then uh, Lucifer from his spot was like, you can't plank, monkey brother. Like, <laughs> that's your fault. Like, it's your fault because you can't plank. Um, but it's very funny. And then um, kind of off to the side, Ollie and Dongbin are chatting. And Ollie tells Dongbin that he really doesn't want the Cat and Tanese song, but he thinks that's what he's going to get. Um, and he, like, doesn't think he can be a good leader of seven. Um because whoever picks gets to be the leader. And then Dongbin says, do you want Hyung to give it to you? And Ollie's like, what do you mean give it to me? Uh, and then Kim Dongbin said, do you want me to give you the other saw? And then um, Ollie said, I don't really want either one of those songs, but I really don't want the Cantonese one. Are you sure? And Kim, what song do you want? And Kim Dongbin said, either one of those songs is, it's the same for me. Um, and then he says, I'll give it to you. And then, oh, and then Ollie says, I love you. And like gives him a hug. And then Kim Dongbin goes, but you have to give me Shinshi. And Ollie's like, Shinshi. He's like, oh, like he doesn't really want to. Um, and then it kind of shows Shinji. And then it goes, Kim Dongbin, choose your song. And then he like shakes hands with Ollie and looks at him. And then Ollie kind of nods. Like, okay. And so then Kim Jong-bin walks over and takes the um, Hair Messed Up song. So then Kim Jong-bin walks over. Kim Jong-bin walks right over to Hair Messed Up. It's like right on the, right closest to them. And he leans on it. And then he gets to pick um, people. And he first picks Louie. And then he picks Jerry. And Jerry's like, another dance song? What? And then he picks Moo Chang. And Moo Chang just goes right up there. Or he calls him Brother K, which is really funny. And then... Um, the they look in the Uehua boys, um, Shiyu, Dancha, and Shinji all have their like hands like this, like in an X. I took a picture of it. Um, and then he goes, I'm really sorry. <laughs> and then you see Ollie, there's like a picture, a cute Ollie face where he's like, There's nothing I can do, like, sorry. Uh, and then Dongbin goes, I'm very sorry. And he says, Shinji. And then Shinji's like, Ah, but he comes. And then he picks um, Huang Shengda, and he's so excited about that. And then he also picks Neil, and they're like, oh, and they walk up together. Um, and so then Ollie goes to Good Boy Gone Bad. Um, and he was debating because he really wants to pick DC because there's a high note in it that he knows DC can hit. Um, but it's a dance song, and so he doesn't want DC to, like, feel bad about the dance. Um So then he he picks Shiyu, Gaudancha, Leo, and DC. Um, and DC's like, I won't let you down. I won't let you down as he comes up. And then um, they all go back up to their seats. And I think they sit together, maybe. I think they kind of put it together. I can't remember. Um, and then they reveal that for the five attack groups, um, the remaining boys get to be in those. And that there's going to be five songs for them and each group is going to have eight members. Um, and then they're going to, they get to go up against another one of the other groups, but they're different songs. So it's not like the first one where they did the same songs and battled. This one is like different songs battling. Um, so it could be like completely different styles com battling against each other. They kind of did this on um, Queendom Puzzle where they got to like pick the songs they wanted and then battle against each other. Um, So it's kind of like that, the way the songs are battling. Um, and then when they found out it was going to be eight members, they showed like talking heads and the boys were like, if you have a stage of three, mem of three members versus a stage of eight members, like the eight members is automatically going to have more energy. So like you really have to bring it in a group of three. I think it was Akliar that was saying that because he picked a group of three. Um, and so then they showed the five songs because they're different songs. And the first one was um, First Love by Zhang Bit, I think is what they said his name was. Um, it's the Cantonese song. Um, Bang Bang by Nicki Minaj, Jesse J, and Ariana Grande. Um, Dream Launch by Way V. Uh, Make a Wish by NCTU. Then it's Dangerously, which is like a vocal heavy song. And I don't know who sings that song. Um, 
the defending groups get to pick which song based on their rankings. Really, unlike who gets to choose who to compete. So I don't know. Um, Dancha was saying like, why did Ollie pick me? Because the songs, the attack song or the defending songs are more powerful and they like he likes those songs better. The highest to lowest remaining ranks, they get to choose their song. Um, and then when a song gets eight members, it's full. Like you can't kick anybody out. Let people go up and Felix chooses Bang um, Make a Wish first and then Shin goes there and then Liu goes there. And Renasuke and Felix just keeps like inviting people to his group and people keep coming. And I think they might be the first one to fill up. And then Albert I picks Bang Bang. Um, and then he says he enjoys the eight boys that are in his group. Um, on his team, he says it's a strong group. Um... And then the the first love song is all the Cantonese boys. They all congregate there. Um, Carl says in like a Talking Head interview that he auditioned for the show with First Love. And then he did like another performance with the song First Love. But none of those were shown to the audience. And so now he wants to sing First Love and like have the audience be able to see him. before he, He's basically said before I go. So... I'm not sure. Um, and they all say, like, we get to sing together for the last time. It's like all the Hong Kong boys. Um, and Ashley was the first one to choose it. So he's standing right behind the sign. And every time they come, he, like, hugs every guy, that, every boy that comes. Um, and then for some reason, when Paco comes, they, like, turn the sign around and pretend that it's full. Um, and then they do welcome Paco in. And Sky was the first to choose Wavy's song. Um, and he wants service Didi Morcash and G Thursday to come to his song. Kingsley's the first to choose Dangerously. I'll put a picture of all the teams. Um, the first team is Hair Messed Up, which is one of the attack teams. Um, it's a Cantonese song, and it's seven members. It's Kim Dong Bin, Louis, Jerry, Shinchi, Mu Ching, Shengda, and Neil. Um, the next one is also an attack song. And it is a group of three, and it's R&B All Night, and it is Akliar, Ellie, and Lucifer. It's also an attack song with three, uh, with five members, and it's the Law Song, and it's Walker, One, Sky, One, and Orenda. Um, the next song is uh, another group of five, an attack song, and it's Good Boy Gone Bad, and it's Ollie, DC, Leo, um, Dancha, and Shiyu. And then the final attack song is Cheetah, and it's three members, and it's Shinhao, Junlan, and Albert. We have the attack songs um, that all have eight members, and so the first group of eight is Dream Launch, and that is Baby Sky, Service, Bobo, Small Sean, Shin, Tomoki, G Thursday, and Dee Dee Morgash. Um, the second attack song is is the Cantonese one, um, also has eight members, and it's First Love, and it's Ashley, Des, Hugo, Sean, um, it's a Big Sean, Atia, Archie, Paco, and Carl. Like, I think they are literally all Hong Kongers. I think they might be. Um, and then Make-A-Wish, the NCT Make-A-Wish, which also has eight members, is also an attacking group. Um, it has Felix, Chen Li Yu, Kuhn, Renosuke, Albin, Elliot, Tuna, and Zach. Um, Dangerously, which is also an attack group with eight members, has Kingsley, Ablit, Vic, Roy, Ansel, CI, Hiromu, and Kusuke. And then Bang Bang is um, also an attack song with eight members. And it's Aiden, Albert I, John, Sean, Hugo, Dale, Gemini, and Dylan. It moves into the current rankings as of like the ending of the public vote and so you get to see the new recent boys like their new hair and stuff it, this is them actually like on monday so the one the stuff we saw before was them like pre like a month or so ago um and now this is them on monday that just passed um so the they said that the winning groups from the performance get ten thousand extra bonus stars um, and that they compiled stars from the official website and they have like a Weavers site, not a Weavers, a WeChat site that they can use to, um, fans can use to vote as well. 
uh, and the from the website there was seven million nine hundred twenty four thousand two hundred sixty four stars and then um, 427,332 stars on WeChat. Um, I think 100 of those stars were me uh, on the website. So then they kind of, they did this in Voice Planet too. They called them up by song um, and they did it a little bit differently. So Eric, the host guy is there. Um, Eric Sai, I think is his name. Um, and he's up there and he like welcomes everybody. They call them up by group. And then when they go up on stage, Eric is up there and he hands the captain of the group um, a note card and that has all of the rankings of all the boys except for the captain. Um, and the captain has to tell them whether they're, uh, he tells them three things. He tells them if they made it into the top 10, their score will be, like their ranking will be re revealed later. Um, if they made it into the top 30 and what their rank is, and if they didn't make it into the top 30, what their rank is. Um, and so the first group to come out on stage is the Renegades group. Um, and Albert I was the captain. And so he walks over um, and he announces the results of his team. He has like blonde on top. I took a screenshot. Um, and he says, I'm gonna start with a good one. I'm gonna say, Archie, you made it into the top 10. And Archie's like, me, what, really? Um, even though there's going to be nine members in this group, they always announce the top 10 because then you do the like who's nine, who's 10 thing. Um, and then he says that Roy made it into the top 30 and he's 23rd. But then he said, unfortunately, DC is 54th um, and Zach is 55th. And then unfortunately, Leo is 39th. Um, and then Eric says, Albert, I'm going to tell you what your ranking is. And then he said, unfortunately, you are 33rd. Um, and so then those that didn't make it into the top 30, they go back to like the seats. The, um, those that made it into the top 30 get to stay there. Um, actually those who make it into the top 10 don't get to speak yet because they'll get to speak when they're announced, but the top 30, um, the other ones do get to speak. I didn't know that right away because they show their like previous ranking. And so I thought that they had revealed what Archie's rank was. And I was like, wow, they're just revealing it right now. But no, it was his previous rank. I think he was ninth or something in his previous rank. Um, Roy and Archie are standing next to each other. Um, but Ro only Roy speaks. And then I was like, only Roy gets to speak? Maybe Archie didn't want to. Um, and then the illusion team comes out. And Kingsley's the captain. So he gets to announce. And he's um, he says, Renuske's 49th. Dale is 45th. Joe so CI, but he has like his hair in a ponytail. And I was like, oh, CI. Um, Elliot is 38th, Ablit is 56th, and then he says, um, congratulations, Juan, you're 16th, um, this is the Boys Planet one, and then Ashley is 19th, and CI is 21st, and he's, like, shocked. I definitely think it was that, like, protecting Kenny thing that probably really boosted him up. Um, and then Eric tells Kingsley that he is unfortunately ranked 40th, um, and at first I said, like, oh, only one is going to speak. Um, but then Ashley does get to speak and he gets nervous and he says the sentence wrong many times in Mandarin and then he speaks in Cantonese and then he kind of stomps his foot cause he's nervous. And then the boys like, they laugh a bunch of the times and then finally they're like, it's not funny anymore that you're nervous. Um, and then CI also got to speak. Um, he was like too shocked to like, he's like, I did not prepare a speech cause I did not expect myself to be up here. And then, so that's when I, after Illusion Team spoke, that's when I figured out that um, anybody in the top 10 and anybody below the top 30 didn't get to speak. Um, but anybody in that top 30 to top 11, like they got to speak. Um, then X Team comes. They're not like doing this in any order either. I'm not sure what they're doing. Um, but X Team comes out. And then, so Tao's one has to announce their rankings. And he tells Sean that he's 53rd, Tuna's 59th. Um, he says, Shin Hao, you're in the top 10. Um, Junlan is, and then he looks at Junlan and laughs, and Junlan's like, what, me? And then he says, he's 13th. Um, and then Eric tells Juan that he's 26th. And then Juan, in his speech, he says that he feels bad about the situation of people being eliminated. Um, he kind of starts to tear up, but he doesn't actually tear up. And then Junlan... 
um, asks if he can blow bubbles and Eric is like, sure. And he blows bubbles. And then he says that his pen has a special purpose and it has like a stamp. And he said, anyone eliminated trainee who um, might miss me, you can come into me and I can give you this stamp. And someone yells, I don't want it <laughs> from the audience. Um, and then they bring out the Samba group. Um, Albert and Aiden are both gone for personal reasons. Um, so Chen Li Yu announces the results. Uh, and he says, I'm going to start with Albert and Albert is 29th. So he like barely made it in the group. Um, John is 62nd of 63. Now there's only 63 now. Aiden is 36. DD Moore Cash is 57. Service is 61. G Thursday is 63rd. And then Eric tells Lee Yu that he's 35th. Then they call out two baddies group. And then he says that because they won the rap group, they all get 10,000 extra points. Um, and then Shinji announces their rankings, and he says that um, Ollie is in the top 10, so his ranking will come later. And that's when they officially said, like, your ranking comes later. And I was like, oh, oops, I was marking them down as their scores. Um, Gadantra is in the top 10, and Shiyu is also in the top 10, so their rankings will come later. And then he says Sky is 18th, and then Eric tells Shinji that he is in the top 10. First, he says, now, uh, how about your grades? And then Shinji's like, well, they're not written here. And everyone laughs. And then um, he says, if Shinji's in the top 10, then the top 10 will be announced later. So all of this group is in the top 30. Um, and the top doesn't, top 10 doesn't get to speak yet. And I wrote, I see, I see. So then Sky is really the only person who gets to speak from this group because everybody else is, gonna, is in the top 10. Um, then they bring out the Love You Want team, which all, won the vocal team. So they get 10,000 points. Um, and there's no Sean with a W. He's not there either for personal reasons. So then Lucifer announces Sean's 51st. And he says Orenda's 42nd. Neil is 27th, so Neil makes it in. Shin is 17th, so he makes it in. Um, and Felix is in the top 10. And then Eric says that, unfortunately, Lucifer did not make it, and he's ranked 50th. Um, and then Neil gets to speak. <laughs> And he says that uh, he thanks like all the people, all the fans, obviously for voting and stuff. They all do. And then he says that he thinks Lucifer, and he's like, without Lucifer, um, there would have been no stage. Like he, with his amazing like whatever production skills, um, Lucifer's like, thank you, thank you. And then Super comes out, and they also get ten thousand points each because they won the dance challenge. Um, and so Ellie announces. Um, and he announces Jerry is unfortunately 47th, Hugo is 41st, Hiromu is 44th, Kosuke is 48th, and then he says Vic's name and he looks at Vic and then kind of smiles and Vic look, like, looks down and like looks at him and looks down and then he goes, Vic, you're 25th, and Vic goes, what? I think I took a screenshot of him being surprised. Um, and then he says that Baby Sky is in the top 10, and ba he's like, what, me? And then he says that Akliar is ranked 24th. And Akliar kind of smiles like he kind of knew it. But he was also kind of nervous. Um, and then Eric says to Ellie, he's like, I have your scores over here. And I, you like silence, huh? And then Ellie kind of laughs. And then he just sits there. And then everyone laughs because they're like, he's trying to make it suspenseful because he's making it suspenseful for everyone else. Um. And then he says, I'm sorry, there's no score here. And then he goes, because you're in the top 10. And then Ellie laughs and like falls down. And then Vic gets up there to give his speech and he thanks everybody. And then he gives words of encouragement to Leo because Leo's the only one from their group um, and one that didn't make it into the final round. And Leo is crying. I took a picture of that too. Um, and he said that like, we'll see each other again soon. And Leo's like, okay, I got it. Um, and then he says that he's learning a lot and um, he appreciates the chance to try again. Um, and he's learning a lot about himself and like, just like how to work well as a team. Um, and then Akalyar gets up and he says that he's trying hard and he's gonna keep trying hard and keep doing better and better. Um, then they call back down up there. I don't know where this order is coming from. Like they didn't do like, dance, rap, singing. They just kind of like jumped all over. Um, so back down comes in and they, Albin is the captain. So he announces the, um, the scores 
and Hugo is in the top 10 um, and Kenny's not there. So it's a smaller group. Um, Kuhn is 37th. Dylan is 43rd. And then Eric says that Albin is 22nd. And so Albin gets to give a speech and he was like almost in tears, like thanking everybody for his stuff. Um, and then Viva Alive comes up and then Carl goes up there to announce. And um, I took a picture of this too because I wanted to see everyone's hair, but he, I'm starting to tear up, it was very sweet. Um, he goes, before I even announce these scores, I just want to say like, I'm so happy that we got to be a team together. Um, and um, no matter what the results are, like we we were a great team. And everyone kind of like nods along. And then he says, he announces Des first. And he says Des's name. And then he said that he's 28th. And Des is like, what? Like he's kind of shocked. Um, and then Big Sean is ranked 11th. And he's like, 11? Like he's just so surprised. Um, and then Paco is unfortunately 32nd. So he was pretty close. Um, Walker is 58th. And then he said, um, Shengda, your score is either 31 or 32 or 30. So your score will be revealed later. Um, and then Eric says, um, he looks at Carl and he says that you are the representative of TVB, which I think is the company that they air their show on. Um, or like a company that they're working with, the broadcasting company that they're working with. Um, and he said that uh, you're the representative of TVB. Then he says, um, I think that TVB needs you back and that you should uh, go from a musical. And then he kind of laughs and he goes, because you are ranked 46th. And then Carl's like, I got it, got it. Um, and then Des gets to speak and he speaks in Mandarin, English, and then in Cantonese. Um, he thanks his brothers, which is what he called the his teammates. And then he says, thank you for helping me with my doomsday dancing skills um, or doomsday level dancing. And then everyone kind of laughs. And then Sean thanks everybody and says that he's shocked about getting 11th place. Um, and then he thanks his team because he says that they knew that he wanted to rap and they supported him to rap. Um, and that without them, it wouldn't have been a good stage. And then he is like, where would Des go? And then Des has like gone off the stage, off to the side and Archie pushes him out. And then Des does like this cute little wave, like here I am. It's very cute. I took a picture of it. Um, and then he just tells him like, your composition was really good. Um, and Des is like, okay. And then he's like, yeah, thank you. It was really good. <laughs> like it was funny. It was like, he like didn't know what to say, but he wanted to like compliment him on it. Um, and then attention group comes out. Um, and Louie and Gemini are not there for personal reasons, but Mooching goes up there and as the scores go on, he starts to cry and it just gets like super precious. Like, I don't know. He's so adorable to me. Like, he's so cute. I don't think he's going to make it into this final group, but I will support Boyhood just because I want Mooching to be successful. Um, but he like, I took screenshot of him. He like definitely starts to cry as he's announcing, but he announces Kim Jong-bin first and he's 14th. Um, Atia is 20th, Gemini is 12th, and then he announces the rest of the boys who didn't make it, and he says, Tomoki is 34th, this is where he, like, really started crying, um, Ansel is 60th, Louis is 52nd, and Bobo is either 30th or 31st, so he will find out later, and then Eric says that, um, Mooching, your score is 30 divided by 2, so you're 15th, which is what he was last time, I think, and then Mooching says in his speech that he's going to continue to work hard and that he's proud of everyone and that everyone should keep working and focusing. Attila thanks everyone in Mandarin and then he switches to English and does most of his in English. Um, he speaks English beautifully and he, t he tells them, um, thank you for treating me like a little brother. Um, he thanks all the boys and then, um, <clears throat> and he thanks all the boys individually. And it's interesting because they always use their Chinese names for everything else, but like they also post the English name next to the Chinese name, like when they post like the rankings and stuff. Um, but then when he was thanking them, he called them by their English names. Then he thanks Mu Chang personally um, 
for leading their team and for like organizing their team. And then he, but he switches to Mandarin to thank him. And Kim Dong Bin thanks everyone in Mandarin a little bit and then switches to Korean. And then they say um, 30th and 30, he says for 30th and 31st, we haven't decided yet is what the translation says. And Mu Ching makes like a weird face. And I don't know if like something else happened or if he was making a face at like whatever Eric said, um, but I'll post it here. And then he said that he calls them both to the stage, Bobo and Shenda, and says that they were less than 5,000 points apart. Um, 30th is 66,966.1 and 31st is 64,853.7. Um, and then Shengda wins Shengda's 30th, which I knew already because I had stalked the um, voting page. <laughs> um, and then he tries to speak in Mandarin because they make a joke about him speaking in Mandarin. And then he switches to Korean. Um, and he says he thought he'd be eliminated. So he's so thankful that people are keeping him around. Um, <clears throat> Bobo gives a speech and he's like, there's lots of tears. He can't, he can barely talk. Um, all around, like all the boys are crying. And then um, he thanks his teammates and he even thanks the staff, like the people working, which he was the only person that thanked the staff, which I thought was really cute. Um, and then Eric goes into like, okay, we're going to announce the top 10 now. And he says the well, they start from the eighth place. So eighth place is um, Gaudancha with um, 398,583 points. Um, and then he comes up and he like thanks everybody. And he's like, thanks to my company. Um, and thank you to Ellie and, and baby Ollie. Um, and then I took a screenshot of their reactions because Ollie like goes like this. And then Ellie like just smiles. And then he said, and boyhood boys. And then he's kind of like starts to go on and then DC's up in the stands and he goes, and Neverland. And then Don's just like, wait, I have more things to say. Um, he said, there's more rows behind you, but like, that's what the translation said. But then as it went on, I was like, oh, he probably said like, I have more words to say, like there's more things to say. Um, so he said some more things um, about like working hard and thanked the people that voted for him and stuff like that. And then at the end, he said that he wanted to thank Neverland and that he wants everyone to pay more attention to Neverland because they're really, really good. Um, they're a really good like rock band. Um, and they're not the best at dancing, but they're really good. And it was like a cute little plug that he like plugged them. Because um, all three of them did get eliminated. Lucifer and DC and Zach. So they're all eliminated. Um, seventh place. He <clears throat> announced seventh place and he said it was Ollie with 406,472.55. And there's shocked faces. Like I got some, like three different reactions from the crowd. Like Xingxi, you can, is standing next to Ollie and he's shocked. And then um, Felix is like, what? Like going like this. And then um, people in the audience are really shocked because Ollie's always been first for like everything. Then Ollie thanks everyone. Oh, they showed a flashback to like when in the first eliminations when Ellie t said that he's going to keep moving up. Um, and then Ollie thanks everyone. And he's like, thanks the boyhood boys. And then he says, and um, Guadancha, you're cute too, because he, Guadancha had called him cute younger brother. Uh, and then he thanks his team, his two baddies team. Um, and then he calls out Ellie and says, this is only the second stage. Don't worry. I won't stop here either. And everyone's like, oh, <laughs> I took a screenshot. They did like a CGI of like a lightning bolt. It's pretty funny. Um, then he called, announces sixth place. And sixth place was Hugo with 407,617.15. Um, and he apologizes for not getting the ticket to the first elimination. He The translation said something about like, I didn't get the ticket for the first elimination. Um, but I don't know if that means like, he's just apologizing for not being there or if he's truly saying like, I didn't get invited. Um, but he like, he's like, and you didn't give up on, basically he said like, I apologize for not being there. Thank you for not giving up on me. And, um, thank you for this opportunity and I won't do it. Like it won't happen again. And then he thanks his parents. Um, and then he says like, I want to thank all the boys that got eliminated, especially 
um, Orenda, and he says, everyone should go listen to his songs. They're really amazing. And Orenda's like, thank you. It's so cute how much they love each other. And like, whatever. they've been doing this for like a long time, like since August, I think. It's a long time. Almost six months. Um, and then Felix is fifth with 457,747.6. Um, and then he can't speak. He's st like standing there. He's just like, can't speak. Um, he basically says like, he wants to prove that the love they've been showing him is worth it. So he's going to do better. Um, <clears throat> fourth is baby sky. And he like, falls like someone goes to pat him on the shoulder and he like falls over and then it like looks like that person pushed him and the person's like i'm sorry um i, I couldn't see who the person was that like pushed him or like touched him <laughs> it might have been archie but uh he has five hundred twenty six thousand five hundred forty nine point zero five votes um he gets up there and he's thanking his parents for always being there for him and like traveling with him and supporting his dream. And then he thanks his golden side group, which is DD more cash service and G Thursday. And then he also calls small Sean out. Um, and I think it's like, because this is their group for this third performance. Um, but it's cute. The three rappers are like sitting together and they're all like cheering for sky. I love that for them. Um, he says they really are truly like a family and all the rappers are like, yeah, we are. Um, and then he said he wants to thank all the boys because they all support him. Um, he is the youngest on the show. So it's very cute. Um, he says the third place is from two baddies. So it's either um, Shiyu or Shinchi. And then it is Shinchi. And he says he, and he has 526,655.8. Um, and then Shinho goes, Shinchi? And then he thanks Ollie and Sky with an E, specifically by name, um, for working with him in the on two baddies, because Ollie gave lots of ideas, um, <clears throat> and Sky did a lot of the arranging. Um, and so then he goes and stands up there, and then they say first and second are going to be announced, and um, first is Ali, and second is Shiyu, and so Shinhao kind of jumps up and down. Um, when they say it, because everyone thought it was going to be Shinho and Ellie, but it's Shiyu and Ellie. Um, and then he says, oh, he did the, I didn't say this when he was announcing 30th and 31st, he said, who's older between Bobo and Shengda? And everyone was like, Shengda's older. And then he's like, congratulations to the older one. And I was like, Shengda's older than Bobo? That's crazy. Um, and then in this one, he said, between the two of you, who's first? And then he said, well, whose birthday is it? And Ollie was like, oh, and he points at Ellie and Ellie was like, mine um like what like looking all confused and then he says happy birthday and congratulations you're first um and he has 675,174.35 points um and then she was second and he has 543,000 something point something but they like put this little like some something like some sort of caption and they put it over the scores and sometimes it would go away and you could still see the score, but this one didn't for some reason, like when they edited it. So I couldn't see all the numbers. Um, but she talks and he says he wasn't nervous before, um, but now he is and he starts crying and then it kind of like pans back a little bit. Um, and while he's talking and you see Ellie is standing like next to him and he's turned around and um, Gaudancha has his hand on his shoulder. And so he's kind of comforting him. Um, and she says that like all of the eliminated brothers are excellent and he wants all of the, um, the like star, not star creators, that's what they call this in Boy Planet, but all of the voters to like continue to watch out for them and to continue to see what, what they do in the future because they're all extremely talented. I um, mean, he said, please come find me again. Um, and then he goes and stands on the stairs. These stairs that they have are less high tech than like the first set of stairs that they had. And they really weren't even that high tech. They just had like, they were bigger and they had the numbers on them. Like from the first, 
the first elimination? Like, did they just get rid of the stairs and then just were like, wait a sec, we need those stairs again? Like, I don't know. Are they getting cleaned? Like, where are these stairs? Because now it's literally just like risers. Like, it's literally just steps and they don't know where to stand because there's no like number on it. So the they keep like, you can see them in the background while people are giving their speeches. They keep like moving over. Like the staff is back there, like telling them to move over. It's like so funny. I'm like, dudes, like just put the numbers on the, like put a tape number on the ground. Like put a little piece of spike tape on the stair and say, stand on that spike tape. Like it's really not that difficult, but Ellie goes up there and talks and he says that, uh, he thanks all the eliminated brothers and his team and, everyone who voted for him. And then he says, thanks for making this a good birthday. And then he turns around and he hugs Ollie. And then he goes right up the center to the very top. Um, and then they say they still have to announce ninth and 10th and they bring up Archie and, um, Shinhao. Um, and then Shinhao, this is the most I've ever seen him be like happy. Like usually he just seems kind of like indifferent, but he's like super giddy and like super excited for everything. I don't know what's going on. Um, but they say ninth got is 390 thousand two hundred twenty four point three stars um and tenth is three hundred thirty six thousand six hundred sixty three point eight five um and they say that ninth is Shinhao, uh and then tenth is archie and archie goes first and he thanks his teammates oh no Shinhao goes first and then Shinhao talks and then he thanks his team and the voters and then um Everyone's hugging and Junlan runs up and tries to like stamp him. And then Archie talks and he says he thanks his teammates, says the same thing about focusing on all the eliminated players because they're all very talented um, and he can't wait to see what they do in the future. And then um, they announce the rankings or they like show the rankings again. I'm just going to go through them in order really quickly so that like because they were out of order before. Um, but 63rd is the G Thursday, 62nd is John, 61st is Service, and 60th is Ansel. And then I'm just going to read them in order from 59 to 50. Um, Tuna, Walker, Dee Dee Morcash, Ablit, Zach, DC, Sean, Louis, Sean, oh, Small Sean, Louis, Sean with a W, and then Lucifer. Um, 49th to 40th is Ranuske, Koske, Jerry, Carl, Dale, Hiromu, Dylan, Orenda, Hugo, and Kingsley. Um, 39th to 31st is Leo, Elliot, Kuhn, Aiden, Liu, Tomoki, Albert I, Paco, and Bobo. Um, the top 30, uh, top 30 to the 10th is Shangda, Albert, Des, Neil, Taos1, Vic, Akliar, Roy, Albin, C.I., Atia, Ashley, Sky with an E, Shin, Boys Planet One, Mu Ching, Dongbin, Junlan, Gemini, Big Sean, and Archie. And then top nine is Shinhao, Dancha, Ollie, Hugo, Felix, Baby Sky, Shinshi, Shiyu, and Ellie. And then the next voting starts on the 27th, so it started on Friday. Um, to February 19th is when it ends. So they can't possibly have only two more episodes left because what's going to happen then? Um, next week is the third performances. Uh, they show that Theo is performing his, finally, his performances are coming. Um, and then they kind of, like, they just kind of previewed the performances for next week. And then there is an interview with Ellie kind of at the back. And then they're asking him, like, questions again, goofy questions. And then they said, like, I heard today's your birthday. And then Doncha and Ollie show, in, show up and bring him a cake. And then they also had, like, a little bit of, like, Big Sean was like, thanks for supporting us, blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's it. Next week is episode 11. Um, I'm also going to have to stop calling him Big Sean because he will now be the only Sean left. Um, and that's a rapper name. Like, there's a rapper called Big Sean. But anyway, um, yeah. But thank you so very much for watching um sorry uh please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it comment down below who your favorite members are from these groups uh from this like the 30 that are left who do you think is going to make it into the top nine who do you think is going to win first because like it doesn't really matter what rank they are in within the group but i'm curious about who's going to rank first is it shinchi is it ollie is it ellie um do you think ollie's going to go back up anything like that um and make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.